There have been two major revolutions in Australian business practice over the last few years. Computers have been responsible for one, the other has been brought about by these machines. But they aren't used only in business. A relatively small number are installed in public, school and university libraries. And they're even found in airway terminals, railway stations and other public places. The range of people who use them and the range of what they copy is virtually unlimited. Excuse me, could you tell me um, what line of work you're in and what sort of material you're copying on this uh, machine? We're in the pharma pharmaceutical industry. <coughs> uh, we have our head office in Sydney. From time to time we get letters down which have got to go to other representatives. And this is convenient for us to be able to sip away because we don't have secretaries to type us or these sort of things. Accountant. I'm copying uh, just letters from the department so we'll have references. Some uh, income that returns just to save a bit of time. Uh, electric motor repairs and uh, the sale of new equipment. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, price list mainly we copy out for distribution to customers, etc. I'm uh, an office boy and I'm just putting through a comic strip. There are many types of copying machines on the market. Some use heat to form an image. Others, such as this one, depend on a refinement of traditional photographic techniques. All of these require sensitised paper. In 1961, the electrostatic process, which uses normal paper, was introduced to Australia. It is this method which has transformed the copying business into the giant it is today. The figures of one of the large companies reflect this boom. For every one machine they had in the field in 1962, there are now more than 30. In Australia last year, it's estimated that the machines produced 250 million copies. While the fastest copying machines at present turn out less than 20 copies a minute, a machine about to be released can make 40, and 100 a minute will be possible in the near future.